Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to Designer Face Off, where two teams go head to head and only one can be crowned a champion. These two teams will be designing for a brand known as Nectar Nook by McDonald's. Not a sponsor, just felt like it. The name kind of fire. McDonald's wants you to envision the future of fast food with health at its heart. A bold step into sustainable, nutritious dining without sacrificing the convenience our customers love. We want our logo to be memorable, adaptive enough to also reflect Nectar Nook's commitment to health and sustainability that's also both suitable for digital and physical media. And for the deliverables, they have to make a logo design, social branding, a food menu, takeout packaging, campaign key art. They must also feature three mock-ups in their actual pitch that they give to us at the end of this video and of course one unique asset that was not stated in the actual deliverable which is the most fun part so that leaves us with our red team captain david alongside annie tyler and karsten and for our blue team the captain Cyanax chose wilru ray and Ilyas. let's just see what happens for the record do you know who wins in my heart every time mm-hmm don't forget to check out the first link in the description down below to check out my everything pack. 26 custom made products made just for you guys as designers and artists. The cool part is of course we have an awesome discord community you guys can also just check out, vibe with, learn from, and, and just like get some critiques, all that good stuff. But it is just a single purchase and for the rest of your entire life, you will get any product that I release free no matter what the price is, email directly to you guys. Join the other 7,100 and something something plus people and I hope you enjoy it. Are you guys ready to get started? Yes, we yes, are. Sir. Yes. yes sir. All right. Indeed. In three, two, one, start designing. So we have our logo designer. Do you want to like just start on drafts on that? I feel like. Yep. I got you. I was thinking promotional video, like a kind of announcement video. I could do that. I can work on the social media branding and some of the mock-ups. I feel like the packaging and food menu probably should be kind of grouped together. So does any, like does one designer want to handle that maybe? I can do that. Uh, Ilyas, if you can work on the food menu and uh, you can do the campaign and then send it over to me uh, so we can like w work on it together. Tyler, work on the social branding and campaign the key art. Already. Would it be like, cool to do like a YouTube channel, like they show off products or something. We're appealing to like a TikTok page. Ray, you are here to cook up the logo. So a lot of the weight on your shoulders, I'm so sorry. Huh? Oh, it's not that bad. Does anyone have any like styles that they definitely want to do for this? Obviously like we're going like health and probably hexagons for nectar. I mean, green, green is the epitome of health, I suppose. Nectar, good, good, good. I don't think oh, that's... Yeah. <laughs> Already off to a good start, <laughs> Nectar. You're <laughs> not gonna point that out. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> like I think like something with like nature theme to like not like specifically like the logo or anything, but maybe like the overall concept of it. Wait, that salad is completely <laughs> fake there. Yeah, look at this. No, that is like not good. I like that. What do y'all think of it? Yeah, that's that's nice. Cool. I like the pink in it. I like the pink in it a lot. We can get away with a flat corporate style pretty easily as well if we find like a really nice no, typeface. Yeah, I, so. I like what you're doing there, Will. Yeah. I don't think we do like icons out of the hexagons, so we do like burgers out of the hexagons and stuff. Wait, you're cooking? Wait, brother, are you cooking here? All right, so I got this one real quick. Thoughts on this? I think. Yeah, I like it. Um, I just feel like we need to definitely play with it a lot more. We can't okay, use it as okay. base form. I feel like once we start to get a style down, like it will, it will feel good. But right now, it's just gonna be a bit of a grind. He said it's for it's for like health and fitness, so I feel like you have to stay in like yeah. the bluish to greenish space. I don't think you want to go towards red. 100%. I have to log yeah, in with Facebook to get this download. All right, here we go. <laughs> log in with Facebook. <laughs> yeah, you guys can have my info. I don't care. Food menu. Who wants to work on? Who wants to get on that now? Uh, I get all that. As soon. Do you guys like this color palette where it's like? I honestly, I'm liking the top left as our main color. I'm not gonna. I don't. I, I'm not feeling the pink too much on this. Okay. Just on this palette. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's yeah. pulling me too much. I'm gonna actually just use this this tan as our background color. This is so difficult when you've got to like establish a brand first, you know? Yeah, but like once we do once we do this, it's smooth sailing. That's the thing. I'm just gonna go very generic, like introducing a new direction for McDonald's type of vibe, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. I respect that. Any how we feeling there? We how we feeling? What do we? Any, are you okay? Any, are you okay? Okay, Any. Oh my God, I've been muted. I've muted myself. Holy. Sh Oh my god, I'm done. I'm done. The speed demon after effects comes up. Let's go. What do menus look like nowadays? I would like base it off of uh I would look at the menu like maybe in a store or like a fast food place and just kind of base it off base it mm. off that. Yo, what are we calling the whole thing again next in it? <laughs> it's not our choice. <laughs> that is not that is not up to us, my guy. How do you I think about branding style for like a whole day? I'm trying to find one and 
20 minutes. Know, right? I'm thinking we go for more of like that dreamy aesthetic. You aren't sure if you're awake or you're asleep, but you're out on a field. I think I'm done. I like the one at the top. The one at the top is really nice. The curvy hexagon one is my favorite as well. Yeah, that that's nice because it's leaves as well. It looks really good. Maybe we have Nectar Nook like on its own, but when it's in badge style, that's when we have the M in it, you know? I like the combos you have. Do you want to just yeah. stop where you're at with that, like the combos, and then make a miniature like profile pictureable size? You're looking good. Thank you. Boys, this is so energetic. It's going to be so good. Can we look at my screen real quick? Ooh, I really like that. In, oh, I love that. That looks Perfect. Kind of looks like a cookie. Do we have a logo yet? Is it ready? Yes, it's almost done. It's almost done. It's almost done. Hey, as long as it's almost done, I don't care how long it'll take. Ooh, loving that drop shadow. I know. Isn't it just looking great? Okay. Okay. We're getting somewhere actually cohesive packaging for the boys back home. What do you guys think if I take the nook out of nectar and like put it like where the food is? So it's like nectar food, nectar drinks. No, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. No, I like that. That's cool. You guys work with AIs, yes, right? Yep, yep, yep. yep. If we haven't, that that'd, that'd be a problem. I, I'd I'd look at you cross eyed. I'd be like, okay. I'm gonna put this like PNG cloud in the chat here. Do you want to like maybe find some of those or something similar to put on the menu? Yeah. Okay, that looks alright. It just looks very faded. And I'm not talking the Alan Walker kind. Ooh, yes. Bang, bang. That's, that's clean. clean. Okay. Yeah, good with it. Creating like artificial light in Photoshop is one of the most annoying things. I think one of the hard it is the hardest thing to do, bro. I have an idea. I have like a like this kind of beigeish, kind of like brown kind of thing that I'm trying to do to make a tree because it looks like leaves. Oh, okay, yeah, that actually kind of goes crazy with it. One hour left. Do you like spending hours and hours just yelling at programs? Be a designer. It's great. Bro. Do you love it when things quit on you last minute, just like your dad? Well, Adobe does that for you right now. All right. Can we chill out with it? <laughs> what do y'all think of the of the colors of the gradient? I wouldn't play with gradients, I'll be honest. I think flat colors will win also. Okay, then. Yeah. Ilias, I haven't heard from you in like 20 minutes. Like what we got. I've been watching him. Wait. He's focused. Wait, he's actually got something. He's actually got something really nice going on. I would say any 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 icons that you've already incorporated into yours, I would say would, would be good to kind of move over to his. Uh, I'm going to go to the restroom real quick. Be right back. Well, we don't have time for that, bro. Uh-uh, hold it in. <laughs> oh, this is sick. Oh, my God. Come on. Yes, 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 and yes. Oh, my days. No, this is so good. This feels so fresh. <laughs> Oh. Oh, <laughs> I'm clicking the render button and then all of a sudden my thing's so far away and I don't understand why. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, guys. I shouldn't have opened this program. I'm sorry. I still believe in you. I'm going to get some water real quick and check in on this child that I'm taking care of right now. Oh, the child. Right. Yeah, Bro's doing just... this while taking care of a child, yo. <laughs> Did someone look at this and tell me if it's shit or not? I think that looks awesome, dude. That looks beautiful, bro. I'm about to shed a tear, bro. What the? 30 minutes left. How do we feel about this menu? I realized that the blue wasn't on our menu, so I just made it the uh, like reddish pink. Not pink, the like dark red color. Oh, no, I like that. Yeah, maybe I, I like think the, the I think the logo is a little bit too big, though, on the top okay. and, and the drinks as well. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, guys, look at my screen and tell me what you're thinking. I like it personally. Sorry, everyone. We're kind of all focused here. This is this is what usually yeah, happens. Like the towards the end of the push, it starts to get a little bit more yeah. dialed in. People are yeah, locked really in. Talking. I do need to use some other mockups though, like fast, or else the boys back home are gonna be mad at me. One unique asset that has not been stated above. So we're gonna use the animation, the the animation that I did before. Then I'm gonna try to make a transitional one in 20 minutes here. On the last video, some guy commented, mm -hmm. "I can't believe these guys design for a living. They're terrible." There's no shot. What's the catchphrase? Uh, healthy never tasted this good. Literally came up with that on the spot and we've kept it. Oh god. <laughs> what is this in time? What? I am making gas right now. These boys are cooking! I thought After Effects crashed for a no, second, wait, bro. Where are my, mo where are my iPhone mockups? No, 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 no. These guys only have 10 minutes left. How are they doing? Uh oh, 10 minutes. Ro, ro, raggy. We've got 10 minutes left. So I've got this video on lock. And the text on top, uh, I would say just use the Helvetica. And then the text on the actual box, replace it with the logo. So it can stay consistent with what uh, Syntax is making. I really like that. That's making me rethink my colors for the mock-up. 
If you want to change it real quick to just green, that could help. Get your final touches on as soon as you can, guys. Here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can you? Can somebody send him the Helvetica bolt? Uh, yeah, let me try to find it. Does green look good on pink? What should the green be on? Okay, I'm sending it. We don't, yeah, we don't. I literally don't have time. Yeah, you just need to. You just need to change that text right. to Helvetica bold, and we're good. What? Uh, check a look at the mock. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's uh. Green or red? I would I would do the green. It was only because uh his in his ad is showing the the green as well. One minute left. That is it. I changed the yeah. color. Yeah, both. No, forget the old font. There you go. Both. Yeah, yeah. So change it. Yeah, change it. But yeah, yeah. You're good. You're good nice. like that. Oh my god, I feel like I'm throwing right now. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, that's that's it. Time is up. David, red team, you guys got to present first. So who's going to present? We were leaning into the yoga, CrossFit, kind of Gen Z vibe. And this is what we came up with. Playful, but still somewhat serious. Kind of alludes to that Gen Z vibe with something that's, you know, sans serif, bubbly, but still gets the job done. Uh, we kind of kept the McDonald's yellow as it's, I feel like it's very iconic and like stepping too far away from it might take away from the fact that it is a sub brand of McDonald's. So we kept it in there. And then we have a scalable mark that can be reduced to a favicon. Um, when you go digital, you can kind of go to the clouds more here. So we have this nectar look in a cloud-like state, just keeping it light, keeping it friendly. Um, nothing too serious as we don't want to go to like the two corporate harsh yellow and red tones of McDonald's. It alludes to like that meditative vibe that Nectar would want to give out to these Gen Z clients. We kind of want the logo to float, act like a cloud, having it live on the bag, live everywhere it needs to be. It can also serve as a graphic element wherever you need it. What's cool about this logo for us was that there's an N in that negative space. There's leaves for health. Obviously we want like kind of plant vibes, leaves. And then it's hexagonal because of the nectar element. So these are some pretty simple mock-ups of how packaging might look from McDonald's if they are going for this more healthy vibe. I'm not gonna say too much or not on the menu. The menu is the menu. It looks pretty good. It looks neat. We've got those icons that are very, they feel very healthy icons. Every, the, the vibe is health. We also have an animation, but it's basically promoting the new change, right? Okay, I mean, you guys did not make it easy, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, ask you guys to sit tight. Me and George are going to go score and uh, come back with our winner. All right, George, it's been a little bit. What's up? What's up, man? Let's go ahead and review our blue team and see just kind of how we're feeling. Blue team, I think, was really intentional. So I really like the narrative that they set out because it definitely feels like its own brand, but I can still see the relationship to like pieces of the old McDonald's logo that they, they tried to relate to. I think the animation really set itself apart as far as what their vision was. Definitely felt like McDonald's when I was like watching the video, but at the same time, feels really, really fresh, modern. I think the color palette is awesome. And also, I really do appreciate the fact that this N kind of feels, you, you still get those arches, like you said, and it works. It works really, really well. And I think the overall colors felt very light. It felt very fresh. How do you feel about how they chose their photography for Nectar Nook? Yeah, I guess when you're looking at the key art, it definitely just feels like McDonald's is obviously really important when you're trying to consider the key art being like a marketing piece that you would present to like the higher ups. I feel like if they were to look at the double stacked burger with cheese dripping down the sides that it might not feel like the vision of being healthy is being portrayed in those types of graphics. I think the mock-ups themselves, I actually really enjoy their packaging. It felt really dope and that loop, again, so iconic still relates to uh, McDonald's enough. What about the red teams? What I really appreciated immediately is how they actually kept the McDonald's yellow. It felt surprising because I thought it would be so iconic that I wouldn't be able to get away from it, but it actually really works, especially with this like brownish tone, this earthiness to kind of ground that stuff to the healthiness. I actually really appreciated. I think they did a really solid job on the mock-up, the color scheme as well. I think they both went with pink. I guess that's just yeah. like a, a neutral, healthy color. I'll take it. And my last one, I think as I really enjoy the variety of logos we actually have. So if you want to of course include i would say the mcdonald's push will be what, what they hopefully launch with right and then all of a sudden like later on during the years they'll probably move away from that logo and then identify themselves as just nectar nook the red team did a really good job having all of these pieces feel cohesive i think that they made some very intentional decisions i think the packaging just the mock-ups, everything looks very refined. The cloud asset for me, I don't know if it's actually addressing the way it would, it, I would hope it to be. I feel like with the illustrative nature of the Nectar Look logo, would you suggest that maybe the actual cloud should be an illustration rather than like a PNG 
uh, cloud. I feel like there's some flexibility that there. I could have made like this, this really sing. I mean, if you if you gave it up to me though, I'm putting my money on. So I think you guys crushed it in the time frame. You guys both had some strengths and weaknesses. Obviously, Sasso and I, we have our own scoring system for how we do stuff. The strength of the blue team that we found was in your guys' narrative, your storytelling. And I think the red team did an awesome job with the cohesion. You guys both had some really great strengths and it made the point system very close. The more you realize how many times or how many different ways you can tell a story, you realize really quickly how it easy it is to kind of neglect one while you succeed in another. So with that being said, the design face-off champion of today's episode who created the best Nectar Nook branding identity was... The red team. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Two for two. Oh, two for two. Two, for two. Two, guys. two David, for David two. The Eight. The score system for the blue team. This total score was 118, while red ran away with 122. You know, it was very close in my opinion, but I do think red team, you guys told a story that, let me be honest, not as strong as how the blue team's narrative of that motion design piece was. However, the cohesion, the send off readiness, that kind of vibe that we we're just talking about, it feels like McDonald's would be like, can we just change this and add this and add this motion piece and we can send it off? That's how it felt. So yeah, I would I would love go. to talk to David for a second. You you led this team. I think once again, did you lead last time? Yes, sir. Oh, gee. Okay. You might have to start a studio or something. How do you feel? I'm feeling good. I mean, I feel like one, I want to shout out my teammates. They're all really talented. I've worked with Tyler and Annie before and, you know, they're doing their thing. Karsten was also like insane in the paint. I feel like it was just a joint effort. Everybody's like working really well. We also had very similar design visions, I feel like. I feel like we we worked together to achieve like a certain goal and it happened really fast as well. Great, great job, great effort to everybody. Don't forget to shout out George. He needs to come back to YouTube. Someone, can we just comment like, yay, George, come back, please. I'm on, my videos, it's just uploading. Uh, it's it's just been taking, it's been taking longer than I thought. He said that five months ago, by the way, so. Thank you, George. Thank you, Blue Team. Thank you, Red Team. You can check out all the talent, of course, down below. Description, linked, all that good stuff. Don't forget to follow all of them. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, all the good stuff. And I'll talk to you guys later. So, so HQ out. You're going to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later, much love. Peace. Enjoy.